My name is Neyati and I'm an electrical engineer at NSI MI. In this video, we're going to talk about the LCU controller set and see how to use it with our position controller. The LCU controller set is designed to provide local operator control at the positioner. This allows the user to be near the positioner while moving an axis. We have two different versions for this product, wired and wireless. The LCU handheld can support up to four position controllers on the same network. The handheld LCU provides speed and direction control using a single rotary dial and two-sided push buttons. We have several safety features with the LCU, including taking exclusive control of all the axes on the network and forward and reverse limits. The LCU controller set is consists of two units, the handheld LCU and the interface unit. That's the LCI. The handheld LCU has an OLED screen which shows the access information across multiple position controllers. On the top panel of the LCU, there's also a rotary dial which has several functions depending on the state of the selected access. The handheld LCU can be powered on using the front panel slider switch. The wireless LCU has an internal battery which can be recharged using the micro DBN connector on the front panel. The wireless LCU also has two LED status on the front panel. The red LED blinks at a fixed rate while the LCU is charging, and the green LED turns on when the LCU is completely charged. In case of a wired LCU, the same micro DBNet connector is used for a serial interface to the LCI unit. Now let's look at the LCI unit. The LCI has a 3 u size chassis box. It's designed to be a freestanding unit but it can also be rack mounted. The LCI unit can be powered on by the barrel connector on the side panel. The lane board of the LCI is used for its programming interface. It is connected to the position controller using an Ethernet switch. Now let's see how to use the LCU with the position controller. The first line displays the fault alerts. In case of a wireless LCU, the first line also shows the battery status and radio strength indicators. The second line shows the name of the selected axis. The name of the axis is preceded by a two-part prefix, the first digit of which identifies the controller on the network. The second digit identifies the access slot within that controller. The next line shows the current position of the selected axis. The unit of measure for the position depends on the configuration of the selected axis. The fourth line shows the commanded velocity. This is shown as a percentage of the maximum velocity for that particular axis. The next line shows the current state of the selected axis. The last line shows the current role of the rotary dial which depends on the current state of the selected axis. On power up, the LCU will monitor the access information from the LCI unit. It will show the access name and position on the second and third line of the unit. In this mode, you can use the rotary dial to select the desired access. Once the desired access is selected, the next step is to enable the access. Either one of the LCU side switch can be pressed and hold to enable the access. In this way, the status of the current axis changes to movable and it's now ready to initiate a motion. With this state, the rotary dial can be used to initiate a motion for the axis. The LCU supports two types of motions, as jog mode and the velocity mode. In order to perform a jog mode, move the rotary dial one or more details and quickly bring it back to its original position. The direction of the motion depends on the direction of the rotary dial. To perform a velocity mode, turn the rotary dial one or more detents and let it rest there. The rotary dial can be moved in the opposite direction to reduce the velocity or change the direction of the motion. To stop the motion, simply release both the side switch of the LCU. This changes the state of the current selected axis to enable and the steps can be repeated to initiate a motion again. 
the LCU and LCI also has an abort function which can be initiated by pressing the rotary dial at any point in time to stop the motion. The abort function also disables all the access on the network. If you need more information about the LCU, please visit our website. Thank you for watching.